Take the Earth Agri Spray drones. So there's some confusion sometimes about how to make the drone go in and out of the field. The J100, there are several different ways to do that, uh, both autonomously, manually, different ways to do it autonomously. So we'll try to run through all the different ways you can do that and why you might choose one way versus another way, because not every field should be the same or is the same. All right, so we've got a field set up. You can see on my map right now, we're parked right there. Our start point is up in the corner behind these trees. Uh, so we never want to trust the drone, even though it's got obstacle avoidance, we never want to trust the drone to just navigate around obstacles by itself. Uh, we always want to make sure that we uh, route plan around those obstacles. So I'll show you the first way that we're going to do that, and that's with our, our safety point. Um, so you can see our parameters here, I got everything set up. We're not spraying anything today. Um, ignore my low, my low battery on my remote. I got enough, don't worry. I turned my spray off. So we've got our safety point um, not turned on right now. If I turn it off, there it's not turned on. So if I hit my safety point on, you can see my, I have my crosshair pop up and I want to go straight to the field that direction, around the trees. So I'm gonna do that first and I can actually make multiple of those safety points. So I can go here and then here if I wanted to. I can do put five safety points inside and outside of the field, as long as my last one's in the field. Um, so this is gonna make sure on the way to and from autonomous mode, it's using those safety points in and out of the field. Then on my parameters side, we've got um, enable follow going into the field. So it's gonna follow the terrain at 13 feet uh, with obstacle avoidance turned on and exiting at 13 feet following terrain with obstacle avoidance turned on. And for us, that's exactly what we want here. So I'll show you what that looks like, then we'll kind of change uh, those settings. So with new operate, switch over to autonomous, hit takeoff, hit confirm. So the drone's gonna take off autonomously, go up to 13 feet. And 13 feet is above whatever it sees below it. That is not 13 feet um, above the above the home point. That's 13 feet above whatever it sees below it. So you saw it go up there over the corn. And now it's just terrain following at 13 feet over the corn. There's that first safety point. And there it's going to that second safety point. And then it's going to go to the start point. And it's going to kind of stop at each safety point and turn and face. And there it goes again. So it's a good idea not to have, I'll put it in manual and bring it back here. So it's a good idea not to have um, a lot of safety points because it is less efficient. So one usually is fine. You can actually skip your safety points if you take over manually. Mind the dust. All right, so now the drone's landed back on the ground, we can go back into operate, and now we can actually change or get rid of those safety points. If we hit cancel, it gets rid of two. Cancel again, get rid of one. If we hit confirm, it won't let us because we have to have a safety point or we have to turn our safety point off. Now it's gonna go straight to that point there. Uh, so what we can do here is we can actually put it into fixed altitude mode. Fixed altitude mode, entry height. will go up to 98 feet. That should be plenty to go up and over those trees. And the same thing on the way back, fixed altitude mode, 98 feet. Now this is fixed altitude, what does that mean? That means our altitude above our home point, not above the corn, not above the trailer, not above the trees, above the home point. So 98 feet above wherever it's sitting at right now. Uh, and whenever it comes back to us, it's gonna go 98 feet above that point, not above whatever it is out there, right? Does that make sense? Um, so this is really only used if you're hopping up and over a tree, um, up and over a barn, up and over power lines um, to get out to the field. You don't want it to follow the trees uh, as it climbs over them. Okay, we're set up there. We're set up there, fixed altitude mode. We have our safety points turned off. Hit confirm. Switch it back into autonomous. Take off. Swipe right. There it goes. I mean, fixed altitude mode should really, at 98 feet especially, 
should really only be used if you absolutely need it. Uh, because it does burn a lot of battery power as it goes up that high, especially with a full tank. An empty tank now, so it's not really burning that much battery power. There you see it clears the trees with plenty, but it's not actually terrain following up and over those trees. And then whenever it gets to the start point, it's gonna lower all the way down. That's just gonna burn a ton of battery power as it goes in and out of the field. All right, switch back to manual. I'm gonna bring it back home manually. And manual return to home is not necessarily a bad thing to do. It's just typically, if you set it up correctly, the drone can usually do uh, a better job at returning home, especially if it's a long ferry. It can fly straighter, it can fly more direct. Now, if you wanna skip your safety points, you're not use safety points, sometimes you can fly a bit more efficiently uh, with the manual return to home or manual out to the start point. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So if we go back into operate, we're gonna to go to parameters. We're gonna take off fixed altitude. Uh, we're gonna to go to uh, ascend only. Um, that's not terrain following, that is ascend only to where it'll terrain follow until it gets to its highest point, then it won't go down. And we're gonna change that to 13 feet. Keep our speed the same. Change our exit height to 13 feet. We're gonna go into our route. Uh, we are going to add a safety point, just one right out here. Add our safety point. Double check, ascend only, ascend only. Okay, we're going to confirm that. So if we wanted to take off manually, we're first going to do our task verification to where it loads everything to the drone, to the hard drive. We get to our swipe screen right here. We actually go into our manual um, takeoff. Manually takeoff right here. Sticks down and in. Now I'm manually flying the drone. This is a manual flight. So you can take off a bit faster. You can get out there a bit faster and you can skip your safety point. So there, I'm out plenty far enough away from the trees. I can just rock it back into autonomous. There, I just switched it back to the autonomous stick, or autonomous switch. And there you see the drone actually skipped that safety point. Now, why did I put a safety point in if I wanted to skip it? Well, that's for return to home. Just in case you lose connection, just in case, and there you can see it's on ascend only. So it's only going up, it's not going down. It's not going down to that 13 feet until it goes to the start point. So it's terrain follow, but only terrain follow up not down. So now whenever it starts running, then I can switch it back over into uh, return to home and it's gonna use that safety point. Hit return to home. It's gonna stop. And again, it's gonna do ascend only. So it's gonna terrain follow, but only up, not down. Keeping at that minimum of right around 13 feet or so. And it's gonna hit that safety point. This is great. In my situation, because I have a remote that's about to die and I uh, didn't bring my external battery pack with me. So it would return to home safely with, by navigating around those trees. There you see it's not dropping down as it clears the corn. It's maintaining at that highest altitude. Now landing, I'm gonna swipe right. That's gonna start coming down. If I wanna take over manual, I just flip my switch there to manual. And now I can move it where I want and I can get it where I want and just full stick down to land it manually or back into autonomous mode and then swipe right again and it's going to come down autonomously from there. Okay, that's kind of all the ways you can get the drone in and out of the field in different situations. So if we look back at our options here, where would I use fixed altitude mode? Well, if you're flying up and over trees, up and over power lines that you have to fly over and you wanna make sure that it will fly up and over them, even if you have no signal, even if you, if you have a dead remote, even if you know, this thing falls off your trailer and busts in pieces, that's kind of you know, what this is all about. The automation uh, is to kind of you know, save um, the drone and make sure it's safe. 
if something bad happens uh, and also to be efficient. So that's where I'd use fixed altitude mode. My enable follow, we use that most often um, and we're gonna use that in and out of the field typically the most often uh, on most fields that we operate on because we just want it to hug the field as it comes in and out. If you have to fly under transmission lines uh, to get in and out of the field that are 40 foot tall, instead of it going up you know, to that sit fixed altitude, it can stay at that spraying altitude and come home and go out there just like that. We sometimes will use enable follow on the way there, uh, but we'll use ascend only on the way back if we don't want it to drop down as it clears that corn. And then ascend only, uh, where I would use that on the way to or from the field if you were operating maybe on, uh, on top of a, a hilltop and you were spraying, you know, starting to spray on the other side of another hilltop and there was a valley in between. You don't need the drone going down the valley and then back up the other side. And then fixed altitude mode might work unless the hill on the other side is taller than the one you're on. Then fixed altitude might not work. So that's where you can use ascend only. It goes up 13 feet or whatever you have it set to above the home point. And then it flies out, maintaining its altitude over the valley and then goes back up if it has to on the other side uh, or up and over a tree line or whatever it may encounter. Um, and then what I would use my manual um, on the way out there if I wanted to fly, you know, skip my safety point and fly out around tree. You can also use manual return to home. Uh, if it's returning to home, flip it into manual. That will also skip your safety points if you put it back into auto after that. So this is really worth practicing because it's where some guys, especially new pilots, mess up. They just see what they see on a demonstration. That is not always what you should do whenever you're operating. Every field is different. Every operation is different. Make sure you understand how to make the drone do what you want it to do. Okay, I think that's all we have on entry and exit. Let us know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.